Oh, hi, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to my studio. My name is Cal. I'm the editorial cartoonist for The Economist magazine and other publications around the world. And I have been drawing cartoons for over 40 years, published over 8,000 of them, and another 150 magazine covers. And here I am, I'm here at my desk where I draw cartoons like this that appear all around the world. So um, people often ask me, well, how do you come up with these cartoons? How do you do it? Well, you know, the thing about being a political cartoonist that I am, it's quite different than all the other styles. Uh, my job, for example, is not to necessarily make you laugh. My job is to make you think using humor, of course, just like all cartoons, but using as a vehicle for a message. So I start my day by trying to put on the hat of a journalist and whereby I am looking around the news, trying to figure out important stories to, to cover. I will you know, go on the internet, I will watch TV, I'll be listening to the radio, I'll be reading newspapers, all the time trying to gain information from all around the globe. Then eventually I will focus in on a certain subject where I have to determine what I want to say. And at that point I put on another hat, and this time it's the hat of a commentator. Someone who's taking the news, but then trying to turn it into something uh, uh, of a personal perspective to make you think. The third hat I put on is the hat of a satirist, where I'm taking my commentary and I'm trying to add humor to it to make it more interesting. Finally, I put on the hat of an artist, where I'm taking my satirical commentary and I'm turning it into a cartoon. And here, when I get to that stage, I start by doing lots and lots of sketches, rough sketches that sometimes at the very beginning look like they are just little tiny doodles. But eventually, over time, I will refine the drawings, refine the drawings again, and keep on refining them until I get down to a really good finished piece of art. And my cartoons, I tell you what, they can take me eight, 10 hours. And sometimes when I do color ones, they can take me two days to do an individual cartoon. But the good thing about a cartoon is that you, the person who consumes the cartoon, takes you five or six seconds, maybe 10 seconds if I'm lucky. But what I'm trying to do, to quote the great British philosopher, Mary Poppins, where she said a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. What I try to do with my cartoons is create a really good drawing, a really good piece of humor, so that when you drink in that cartoon, you're also drinking in an important message and story that will make you think. So I hope that maybe you guys should, should try to, your hand at being a cartoonist. Now, what you may forget is that at the age of six, every one of you was already a cartoonist. Everyone was drawing and drawing in lines and doing fun stuff. But sometime in the years after, people stopped drawing. So I'm going to encourage you to start drawing again. Start by drawing your friends or drawing your teachers like I used to do in class. It's a lot of fun and I suspect that it'll give you a lot of joy and maybe, maybe one day you'll be drawing cartoons like me. Here, good luck. See you later.